Hey, it's me, Kyle, and this is Yevato, and I'm talking like this and leaning in because we only have one microphone. This is the first episode of our multiple TV pilot episode series for your studio viewing pleasures. In this unoriginal first episode, we are going to, you know, actually, I'll let somebody more informed tell you where we are. So, as a Cali... No, 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 no not you, no, not you. I'm talking about my, my narrative voice. He's way more informed than me. Welcome to the Mekong Delta, Vietnam. The local life in Goa Gong consists of a quaint countryside vibe where neighbors all know each other. This is where I'll show my best friend Yevato traditional aspects of how locals work and live in this area of the world. Some in the fields, while others by the sea. A very unoriginal idea for a TV show. So this is Thang Tan Beach and this is a hub for clamming. So how many clams are we going to catch today? <laughs> That's up to you. Well, we need to catch a lot because we need to sell them. Yeah. Workers are actually expected to dig up 40 kilograms of shellfish on a daily basis. But Yavato is definitely up for the challenge. <laughs> oh my god! I've never done something like this before. Um, you know what? It, it, I'm excited. I'm, a, I'm about to eat me like a raw oyster, you know? Raw uh, with soy sauce. Do they have soy sauce over there? We gotta have some wasabi with this, man. Ah! Oh my god! It's just sinking in. It feels like like we're stepping into like butter. I'm serious. If it, it has that consistency, I, it feels like we're stepping into butter. Oh my god! That was just an amazing, disgusting experience. Just is really slippery. Oh my god! They should have signs here. Like if you clam too much, if they're like too small, then you gotta like just put them back. No. No. No? I thought that's just the way it works. Nope. Nope. This, I need a shovel, man. Dig. You don't do this where you bare hands. <laughs> just dig. I don't care, just dig. Look at them. They got gloves. I don't care. Just dig. They got, they got gloves over there, just man. Dig. Just dig. Just Scary, because you don't... These clams can, like, bite you, no? These clams, like, they can snap, snap at you, no? Back to his face. Back to his face. Can these clams, like, snap at you, like... We're not leaving until we can find a clam. Well, oh, oh no, that's half a clam. Oh, <laughs> that's half a clam. <laughs> no clam shell. I'm serious. No, need... oh, 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 clam shell. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna. I got. I got a solution for this. Okay. No, no, we gotta. No, that's not. That's not how tradition works. That's. That's not traditional. Go, go, keep digging it, man. Back in the old days, there was no. Oh, just buying it from somebody else. Just go keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. Just buy it and then no. put it in here and then we'll... Chị ơi! Ở đây có ốc! Có! Tại sao không có làm ở đây? Is that why are we the only <laughs> We're working in... But you do realize we're not in a clam area. Yeah. We'll be here for a while, dude. Just keep digging. We, we, gotta, we really gotta find something. You'll find it. Just keep doing it. <laughs> You're not even trying. I think we're digging in the wrong. It's not about how. It's not about how deep you dig. You can use your feet for this. You can just kind of like just do this. Just. Why would you use your hand? You can use your feet. Easier. See, I just dig a hole. Dug a hole like that big. No. It. it look. Look. Look how deep I went. Where. Where are the clams? Hold on. You're deep, but where are the clamps? Do something, please. <laughs> Is that like pudding? It's like pudding. I feel like <clears throat> Bill Cosby right now. Let's do the jello pudding. That's not a good reference to make anymore. Wait. Oh, wait. No way. Oh my gosh. One clam, we, we kind of take it for granted. Like, it takes great work to just find one clam. I, I just had a great, like just an epiphany right now. We think this one clam, because we just ate it and then just like do away with the shell, but then it, it takes a lot of work. I mean, um, actually we have to sell this clam. This is not ours. In fact, from January to November of last year, Vietnam exported 75 million US dollars worth of shellfish with Portugal buying the most followed by Spain. But how many clams do we need? <laughs> 
A lot more than one, yeah. Oh my god. So how was that experience? Quite scary. Um, you just... Like really right now, we're like... The, there can be like, seriously, like quicksand, like... Going that deep. Like, it could have gone deeper, but I escaped it. It's like... Why do I get all the deep areas? Hold on. It's... This is a pretty... Scary experience. <laughs> Look at the boy following me. I don't like insects, dude. Seriously, I don't like insects at all, man. Seriously. So you guys don't try this at home. Or who are you talking to? Just I thought they. I, there's, there's only me here. You know they say that stuff on television, so yeah. Another aspect of local life is selling what you bought, grew, or in our case, cut at a local market. Easier said than done, but Yevato's up for the challenge. See, more, more, more. Oh, oh, langon, delicious. You guys, buy one clam, please. Am I the Am I the Almost a sale and a deal, but not quite this time. Oh well, I think it's time to return home. So welcome to a traditional house here in the Mekong Delta region. First time. Really? First time for everything. So this is your life in the Mekong Delta. Can you imagine it? Where do you sleep? Right here. This no. is your bed. No air conditioning. <laughs> what is air conditioning? So you're, you're exposed to the outdoors? <laughs> yeah. As you sleep? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're serious? It's tradition. So you're exposed to the outdoors you are as you one, sleep? You are one with the outdoors. No, but how about the bugs? You are one with the bugs. So getting bit by bugs is part of the ordeal. Yes. You'll get used to it over time. Getting bit by bugs? Eventually they'll get sick of your meat. Welcome to the Mekong Delta. So before we dine, I want to show you another traditional aspect of Vietnamese culture. Ancestral worship is very, very important for Vietnamese culture. And uh, this here is my uncle. And we just kind of pay our respects. And so just pray, maybe think of kind words. Okay, so luckily for you, I bought more clams than we were able to catch, but these are fresh from where we were. I can't wait. Dig in right now, go ahead. Wait, you need some of the season it first. These clams do taste truly amazing. They were caught two hours ago, and we're eating it on a table. There's a lot of appreciation for one clam now because it was so difficult to catch just one. Thank you for this experience. This is absolutely delicious and now I can appreciate this one clam. I don't think we're ever gonna get our own TV show. Call us, guys. Just eat your clams. <laughs> Are you serious about wanting a TV show? Absolutely. Well, the only way that that can happen is if we keep producing pilot episodes. What's the next one? On the next episode of... It's called being stuck in a dark room with your friend for 30 days. A very unoriginal idea. Or how about this premise for a TV show? 
How do you eat this? Oh, that's a great idea. Two guys traveling around the world eating weird things. Now that is a bizarre idea and completely unoriginal. This looks like the alien from the movie Aliens. What a trite and cliche comment to make. We'll never be on TV. Yeah. I don't think we'll ever get our own TV show. <laughs>